Hey guys, this tutorial is going to teach you how to do a half halo braid. I was with Kara of Mascara, that's her blog, and if you haven't been to it, you need to go to it. She's the makeup queen, she can contour like crazy, and she just knows every single thing about makeup that you could ever wonder, so definitely go check out her blog. But when I was with her, I did these really simple half halo braids on her, and I thought I'd make a tutorial for you. So I curled my hair last night, and this morning I just touched it up a little bit with my curling iron, but you want a really relaxed look, so if you're working with day two hair to begin with, maybe don't do anything too much to it to make it too fancy. If you have naturally straight hair, maybe throw a bend in it with a curling iron, just so it looks a little bit textured and beachy, since this is a super casual look. I always like to leave a little bit of hair around my face, just because I like the way that looks. But if you want to start your braids at the front of your hairline, you're more than welcome to do that. But, like I said, I'm leaving a little bit out. So the section I'm grabbing is from my part down to about an inch above my ear. And grab a duckbill clip, since it's just easier to keep everything separated. Separate that section, and then do the same thing on the right side. So take that first section out of the clip and use that same clip to make sure you don't pick up any of the hair underneath the section. And all you'll do is a standard French braid starting as close to your part as you can. Once you get to the end of the braid, just throw some bobby pins in it to hold it in place, and these will come out later. So at this point, before you put the braids in place, this is when you want to add some texture and bulk to your hair. So if you tease your hair, now's the right time to do that. If you don't and you just want to add a bit of texture spray, um, I'm going to use the Undone Texture Spray by Amika. It's great for building a little bit of volume and texture without adding virtually any weight to the hair. If you've watched any of my other tutorials, you know I'm obsessed with this stuff. So definitely worth the investment. The other texture spray that I've used that I like is Bumble and Bumble's Dry Sun Finish. But that's definitely heavier than this Amika one, so um, you can try both of them and see your preference. If you're worried about texture spray, weighing your hair down, go with the Amika one. So in order to get the look of a really loose, stretched out braid, pull the bobby pins out that you put in just to hold the braid in place, and then move your fingers down to as low as you can go on your hair, and then all that straight hair that you just added into the braid, essentially, you're going to use by slowly working it up to stretch out the braid as close as you can to the top. Once you've stretched the braid out, bring it back to the center of your head and pin it in place.
really easy way to hide the part if you don't like that showing where your braid starts is just grab a really thin section of hair and follow the natural direction of the braid. Put a bobby pin in right underneath it and you won't ever see it. And then to finish up, just do a light veil of hairspray. So you saw how simple this was, and you could even change it up with a fishtail braid if you wanted to do that. I think that would look really cool. So I always love seeing the photos of uh, the hair tutorials that I've done that you've tried. So if you share a photo on Twitter or Instagram, use hashtag smallthingshair so I can come and see it. If you want to see any other video tutorials, you can find those on my YouTube channel or my blog, thesmallthingsblog.com.